What's up? Welcome to the All Media Channel. Breaking news, the California judge that sided with Kevin Costner in his messy divorce and child support case with his estranged wife Christine is outlining how he reached his decision. During a two-day hearing in Santa Barbara last week, both Kevin, age 68, and Christine, age 49, testified, getting emotional at times, as they spoke about raising their children and next steps as they go their separate ways amid allegations of cheating and abuse. Judge Thomas P. Anderl, in a Tuesday court filing, recapped the proceedings and explained that he found Christine credible in her Thursday testimony with good courtroom demeanor. However, while the judge did not perceive there was any intention by to mislead the court, her testimony was not much help on the issue before the bench today will weigh her testimony with all the evidence in this case. About Kevin, Anderl wrote that he recognizes he is professional actor and weighed that in the decision-making process when judging his credibility. The judge did not find he embellished any of his testimony by relying on his profession. His testimony was straightforward. There was no acting, found his testimony to be credible and consistent. Anderl added that both sides made strong closing arguments. On Friday, the ruling on child support was revealed. Kevin will pay $63,209 per month to Christine, and not the $161,592 she was seeking. Kevin and Christine, who married in 2004, share three teenagers, Caden, age 16, Hayes, age 14, and Grace, age 13. In regards to the ruling, Anderl said the reasonable needs of the children are fully met by this child support order. Andrew further stated, And anything greater than $63,209 per month would be disguised spousal support. He also added, Christine will have her opportunity to convince the court that she is entitled to spousal support. That is not the issue at hand for this hearing. While Christine was on the stand Thursday prior to the ruling, she said a decrease in financial status would affect their kids. After moving out of their family home to comply with a court order, Christine said she is now in a $40,000 per month rental since she's being conservative. Because I have been very unsure what I will get and what the outcome of this case will be. About the child support amount she was requesting, Christine said she wanted to provide a comparable lifestyle for the kids when they are with her. That cost is our lifestyle, it's how we lived, she said. Christine added that she will look into the steps I need to take and any schooling I need to do, and I will enter the workforce in order to support herself, mentioning education as a potential career path of interest. Meanwhile, Kevin said in his testimony Friday, My biggest concern is that the court orders me to pay child support that is above the needs of my children and for the needs of Christine. In a court filing last week, just before the in-person court appearances, Kevin's lawyers said Christine argues that Kevin steadfastly refuses to pay child support sufficient to meet the children's reasonable needs. That is demonstrably false and purposely inflammatory. The parties simply differ on what reasonable needs means in the context of child support. The exes will appear in court again later this fall to hash out the validity of their premarital agreement. During a request for order hearing this week on Wednesday, Christine's attorney John Rydell said the outcome of that separate ruling could still go in a different direction than the child support decision. The other side seems to think that this case is over, said Rydell, adding to the judge, I have 24 years of experience with you as a colleague. You never decide stuff without the evidence. The couple will meet in court again to finalize their divorce once and for all. We'll keep you updated on the proceedings and the judge's final ruling on custody and alimony. Is Christine a gold digger? Has she ever worked and financially supported her children? Was she out of line for requesting over $160,000 a month to provide for three teenagers who already have everything they'll ever need? Do you think the judge was fair, or do you think the judge still awarded Christine too much money? Does anyone need $63,209 to care for three teenagers whose housing, health, and education expenses are already taken care of? 
Should Christine be living in a $40,000 a month rental property at the expense of Kevin? Should Christine expect to maintain the same lifestyle afforded to her by Costner even though he's no longer her husband? Do you think Kevin should get custody or be ordered to pay alimony and child support, and if so, how much and for how long should he be ordered to pay? Let us know what you think about the Costner's messy divorce down below. Please be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons and thank you for watching all media.